The antenna amplifier in the receiving TV antenna is intended for the increase of the sensitivity, limited by the noises and for the compensation of the losses of the received signal in the coaxial cable. Each and every amplifier has its own noises, which are amplified along with the useful signal and worsens the signal-to-noise ratio. That is why the main parameter of the amplifying element must be considered the noise ratio. The noise coefficient depends on the concordance quality in the amplifier inlet and the mode of the transistor work. The frequency range of the amplifier must secure the amplifying of the signal in the frequency range of TV broadcaster from 48 to 790 MHz. To increase the dynamic range, the amplifier must have negative reaction. Let us look at the separate examples of constructing the amplifying modules for the all-wave antenna. Here we have the circuit of the one cascade amplifier with a transformer inlet and open asymmetrical outlet, securing the possibility of remote feeding of the amplifying module of the single cable. The antenna is connected directly to the bundling of the transformer. The amplifying element, VT1, is connected to the circuit of the general emitter. The parallel reaction is performed on the R3C1 L1 elements. The R3 resistor determines the concordance of the amplifying module in the conductive joints in the meter and lower parts of the decimal range. The L1 inductivity impairs the reaction and rectifies the amplitude frequency parameter. The C1 condenser secures the reaction circuit and coupling with the supply contour and simultaneously forms the low frequency section of the device transmission parameter. The R4C3 circuit is the element of the consecutive current reaction, determining the basic cascade parameters in the low signal mode. In this circuit, the working regimen of the constant current cascade is determined by the R4 resistor along with the basic divisor R1 and R2 elements. The C2 condenser bypasses the R1 resistor and secures the asymmetric nature of the connecting uh, the transformer to the module circuit. Another example is the cascade connection of the VT1 and VT2 transistors which helps to obtain positive unidirectionality and broadband response of the amplifying module. In order to lower the influence of the parasitic inductivity of the general outlet, lowering the cascade amplifying coefficient at the upper frequencies, the em emitter outlet of the inlet transistor is connected directly to the body. The working mode is stabilized by the base fixed current. The high frequency section regulated by the L1 inductivity connected directly to the collector circuit of the final transistor. The range correction and stabilization of the outlet resistance is performed by resistor capacitive circuits.